everybody, it's Tamika, and I'm so excited to bring to you guys another YouTube hop event put on by the Scrapping Queens of 2013 hostesses, Betty, who is Scrap Passion 01, Markeisha, who is Staple M1, and myself, who is Scrap the World. This month's event um, idea is surrounding spring. So all 10 participants are to create projects that put you in the mindset of spring. Spring colors, spring flowers, spring theme, whatever it may be just to get us in the mood because spring is happening in most parts of the United States. So I'm so excited to be um, a part of this as always. Scrapping Queens of 2013 is awesome. And I thank you guys for participating. I thank you guys for commenting and um, supporting us. So um, the hop event will last for one week. Three prizes will be given away um, one by myself Markeisha and Betty for sure so one person is eligible to win one of those three prizes and all you have to do is leave a comment on all of the hop participants videos the the link in the description box um, well in the description box you'll see a link to everyone's channel so you can just go in order and to make it easier I you can start here because I'm number one this month and then just take it on further down to the other nine ladies and then on next Friday it will close and then Saturday we will announce a winner so Markeisha's channel, Stable in One, Scrap Passion One, Scrapped World will all have a winner and then there are three other ladies who will be giving away prizes as well so be sure to leave a comment and follow the rules and regulations for their giveaway because they are uploading their video on Saturday as well for their winners so good luck to all and again the idea for this uh, month's hop is spring so the title that we've chosen is a pocket full of posies so you guys remember the childhood song ring around a rosy pocket full of posies so that is definitely um, fitting for what the theme we have going on right now so a pocket full of posies scrapping queens of 2013 April YouTube hop begins now okay everybody this is what I created so 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 cute and I'm so excited to share this with you guys. It is my first altered birdhouse. And I got this birdhouse in the raw from Joanne Fabrics. And then I also purchased um, some a wood plaque at the bottom. And I'll share that with you guys. So I have to apologize in advance about the angle and the shakiness of the camera. So at this point I am going to insert some pictures so you guys can see what the birdhouse looks like. And then I'll come back and explain to you what I did. love 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 how it turned out so I'm gonna take this mini album out so you guys can see the birdhouse very very cute I love 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 it so like I said the birdhouse came in just this top part to this fence here and I thought that was kind of low so I decided to add some of these um, wooden spools and they were in the raw as well and that's what that looks like I gessoed the birdhouse, the spool, and also this little small plaque I got for $2.99 when I picked up the birdhouse so that I can add some height to the project. I gessoed all of that um, and then I colored everything in this uh, Apple Barrel acrylic paint in light leaf green. Very, very pretty color. Look at that. It's a perfect match. I did two coats of this. And then for the front fence, I used my Liquitex Basics in white. So that's what I did, and it makes it pop like really bright spring colors. So I really like how that turned out. So um, starting from the roof, I used my Martha Stewart punch to punch out the siding for the roof. 
and I did that 11 times on both sides and I decided to use some Kay & Company paper um, that I had picked up from Joann's as well and I wanted to add some uh, dimension and variety to the wolf's roof so I used uh, different papers so I can different pattern papers from the collection instead of just one green note paper. Uh, up here I have uh, some white flowers from Tricol and then a pink little flower from my stash and then I brushed some of the acrylic paint on the flower here. At the top I used a bird that I got from Michaels. It was sitting on top of a bird cage. I just unscrewed it and used it to perch on top of the birdhouse and then I just added some tool to recreate a mock nest the bird is sitting on. Do the same thing for this side. I love how that adds variety with the side and I just use the edge of my pencil to kind of pick up the papers a little bit. So how I stagger them, they just pick up so they look like shingles on the roof. So for the front here and all the way around I use lace as my first layer border here and then on top of that you guys can see this pretty green dangly trim that I used all around the edges. I love, love, it's so pretty. I love how that turned out. And then I used some pink floral um, trim that I got from Angie, who's Queen Bee's creation. So thank you so much, Angie, for that. Um, here I used some um, some ribbon from the Michaels Dollar Fifty bin, and then topped that with some brown, some um, brown green pearls. And then this is a little banner that I created that says home, have some seam binding behind it and I kind of tied that on uh, just a little knot hanging off to the side. Of course I have both sides with some recollection pink bling. And then I have a little collection of flowers and I dusted those a little bit with some white acrylic paint just to bring it out a little bit and then I use some scrabble pieces to type out the word home and then I also uh, whitewash that with the Liquitex paint. Again, a little floral arrangement on this side. And then this side is just the same with the um, bling. And the back is, uh, the roof is completed on the back. And I just have that bare, just there. And then I did the same thing with the um, layer here of the lace and then the trim. And then all of the pillars at the bottom. There's a layer of paper from the Can Company paper that's the same paper that I used for the roof. There's a layer down here at the base and then I also have two um, flowers, paper flowers and a silk flower in the center. I used um, the mint green and the pink and the white silk flower. Also paint at the bottom base and then a little white layer of paint at the very very bottom along with the trim. And then on the these sides I have just a row of the simple um, um, pearl bead strands. So. That's how that looks. And then in the front where the picket fence is, I decided to leave the stems on the flowers so that it'll mimic um, like vines or trellis or a garden, if you will. So I left that on there. And then I just created a floral arrangement all around the side. I have some rosette trim. And this is from Tim Holtz. And on the inside, I have two little, um, two bigger rosettes I use for like the nest or their sitting place. And those are from Gisela, who is Lavish Laces. And then also have some floral uh, arrangements over here on this side as well. So that's how that looks. Hopefully you guys were able to see that in the pictures that I took a little bit better. And that's what I did to the house so 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 pretty and then I also have because it's going to be a home decor piece I have with wouldn't be a mini album it wouldn't be a video if I didn't create just a little bit of mini album on there so that little birdie is going to sit right in there just like that so it, it'll be a display piece for the most part for the spring but there will be pictures in my little, cute little mini album I created this mini album on my silhouette cameo this file was 99 cents on the silhouette online store I cut it out using some thin whiteboard. I cut it out five times and then I cut out the pattern paper ten times so that I can cover the front and back of the bird. For the eye, I added a little green bling trim using my eye rock tool. And then to bind it, I used some eyelets and a binder ring and then added a piece of mint colored lace and a piece of white lace just for um, some decoration. I have some, some big leaves that I used some spray on, some white spray, snow spray, and then some glimmer mist on there. 
Um, the same bead that I have for the center of the hole there, I used a little piece that was left over to add something to my mini album. That stick pin here is from my gift set swap. This pin was created by Tracy, TYJ419, Tracy Johnson. Thank you so much, Tracy. And then this beautiful arrangement of flowers. I love these flowers, and I love that um, shimmer on here. So all of the flowers were white, and then I used various colors from um, my um, liquid color stash. <laughs> Glimmers, shimmers, glitz, lindies, all of the above, homemade. Um, I used to color and add some um, big dimension to this mini album. And it's so pretty. I love just looking at it. So I might have to host an itty bitty mini swap. Hint, hint. Um, no, I'm just kidding. But um, I, after I sprayed everything, I also added some snow white spray just to soften the colors up a little bit. And then I went over that with some stickles to have it really, really shiny. I love how that turned out. I put some glossy accents over this banner that says I love you and that's a banner from Melissa Francis um, embellishment, one of her embellishment pads. I don't know if it's C'est La Vie or Fifth Avenue but it's one of those two. And then I just added some glossy accents to the top of that. And all of the pages are the same. The front pages have this floral pattern on it and then the back of the page has um, this pink pattern. So like I said I'm able to fit a nice size round photo here so that's why I didn't embellish anything on the inside. Plus there's such a tiny space um, where I'm putting the birdhouse. See that space? This fits perfectly. Five pictures can fit in there. Or not five. Um, eight pictures can fit in there nicely without adding too much bulk. And then the bird just sits in there. So like I said, it'll be a home decor piece and that's perfect for that. So that's the project that I created, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, please leave a comment on this video. Let me know what you think. Like if you like it. And then visit all the rest of the ladies that are participating in the Scrapping Queens of 2013 YouTube Hop, A Pocket Full of Posies, to be eligible to win one of three prizes, given away by Markeisha, Betty, and myself. And also, the other ladies that are participating are giving away items as well. So, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Thanks, guys, for watching. Bye.